Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and I have a quick tip for you today that should hopefully help you out if you're on Windows and having some issues with a FireWire audio device. Sometimes you'll find that a FireWire audio device um, from just about any audio developer will sometimes have dropouts or you'll see that it will connect and then disconnect from your system, various things like that. And there's a way that we can troubleshoot that in Windows that usually helps this issue. Uh, first thing you want to do is go to your start menu and go to your control panel. When your control panel opens up, take a look at the hardware and sound panel right here. And in the menu that opens up, click on device manager. So this is going to open the device manager. This is where we can manage, of course, all of the devices that are connected to our computer. Now the specific item we want to pay attention to is the IEE 1394 bus host controllers. And if you double click on that, you'll see a little tree start to form and underneath it, depending on how many FireWire controllers you have on your machine, you will see a list which corresponds to the controllers that you have. Now in my case I only have one and in most cases you're only really going to have one primary controller. So what you want to do, go ahead and double click on this. This is going to open up the settings panel for this host controller. Now initially in Windows you're probably going to see that your FireWire controller will be something called 1394 compliant host controller something along those lines. Um, fairly cryptic name but what we're looking for here is whether or not you have in parentheses the word legacy. And if you don't have that, then what you want to do is try setting your driver for this, to this host controller to legacy mode. So click on the driver tab, select update driver, and then when the wizard pops up right here, you're going to do things a little bit differently from what you might be used to doing when you're installing hardware. Click on the option for Browse My Computer for Driver Software, and then click on the option for Let Me Pick from a List of Drivers on My Computer. That's going to open up another menu, and here you're going to have a list of all of the available drivers which you have for your FireWire controller on your machine. And you'll notice that one of these specifically says Compliant, Compliant Host Controller Legacy. So what you'll want to do is switch over to the legacy driver and you can do that by just simply clicking next. I'm going to go ahead and just skip doing that for right now because if I do I'm going to actually disconnect my own audio card so I'm not going to move through the next step but all you will need to do is click next. Windows will confirm that you do indeed want to install the drivers for this legacy FireWire controller and then you will be using the legacy drivers for your FireWire controller. The reason for this is that as computer technology moves along and some things change with respect to FireWire technology and various things like that, some audio devices and other devices are not immediately compatible with the regular compliant host controller which comes pre-installed and set up in Windows. So, if you find that you're having, again, disconnect issues, various things like that with your FireWire audio device, or maybe another device which connects via FireWire, try switching over to the legacy driver and see what happens. You may see a lot of those issues go away pretty immediately. If you don't, you can always go back to the regular compliant host controller. And you can also experiment, of course, with other drivers which you have available on Windows. Of course, just remember that anytime you change drivers around, there's certainly the possibility of making your system unstable. However, most of the time, that's not going to be an issue when you're changing a FireWire driver. So hopefully this will help you in the case that you are having connection issues. When you're all done, of course, you can simply close up your control panel and go back to working in your audio app or other application as normal. I hope that this has been useful to you guys. Please stay in touch with me. My email is brian at obedia.com. Find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor. And of course, on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obedia tutor. Check out our website, sign up with us, and go beyond the tutorial. If there's something that I can help you guys with, I would love to help you out in real time. 
on your own computer and show you how we can help you to tame your technology. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next tutorial. Thanks.